Welcome everybody to the demo of the week. Today we have Jana, a senior data scientist from the client engineering, data science and AI elite team. And we have a very cool demo prepared for all of you. Today we will see a demo of one of our industry accelerators for predictive maintenance. Hi Jana, how are you doing? Hi Ron, good, doing, doing good, thank you. Super excited to be here today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So can you show us what is predictive maintenance? Maybe you tell us a little bit more about the use case and then you show us how the demo looks like and how it's actually developed, what is running behind the scenes. Yes, absolutely. So I'm, I'm super excited because this is uh, one of my favorite industry accelerators. And uh, the cool thing about it is that it's, it uses uh, a very unique and uh, useful technology, AI technology called decision optimization. Decision optimization is exactly what it sounds like. It helps you make optimal decisions. And it does that by using advanced math mathematics. So uh, let me jump directly into, uh, into a use case. Uh, so imagine that you are a planner at a manufacturing plant building aircraft. And each aircraft could actually cost a billion dollars. And so you want to make sure that your production lines are running as efficiently as possible with as little downtime as possible. Now imagine, uh, believe it or not, but most companies these days are still using very unsophisticated tools to do their planning. So Excel spreadsheets, for example, and uh, needless to say, that's super cumbersome, error prone, and results in lost revenue. So let me show you how AI can do this better. You as a planner log into your maintenance scheduling portal. And what you can see here is data about your uh, equipment, your machine on the production, machines on the production lines. So the peak of each curve corresponds to the most likely day that each machine is going to fail. And uh, behind the screen is an actual machine learning model that was developed and deployed in CloudPack for data. This data is calculated using machine characteristics and historical production data based on each day. So now that we have these prediction numbers uh, for failure, we can actually run some optimization scenarios. We uh, pick our parameters, we run the scenario, and what should come back is an optimal schedule showing us how to schedule each machine for maintenance on each day. You can examine the different KPIs and you can dig into the uh, costs for this particular scenario. What is uh, super useful and uh, is something that is part of any good decision support application is that you have the ability to perform what if analysis. So what we can do here is build different scenarios. Let's say I want to try a different scenario, specify another optimization strategy. So in this case, minimizing total cost is okay. But let's say we want to fix a maintenance event. We want to say, uh, let's uh, maintain machine one right before it's supposed to fail. So on day nine and, um, and then re let's run the scenario and get another solution back. So. When it comes back, it tells us how to schedule maintenance, taking this additional constraint into account. And by the way, uh, it being decision optimization, it's taking into account a number of very complex constraints. So for example, limited maintenance crew availability. You cannot schedule all of your machines on the same day and decision optimization helps uh, take that into account automatically. So you can also compare all of these different scenarios based on the different KPIs. And you can see the second scenario has a higher cost than the first one. Uh, you can also compare based on the costs and the other, other different characteristics. And once you're happy with, uh, you can examine different scenarios. When, once you're happy with one, you can go ahead and deploy one and execute it in production. So as I mentioned, behind the screen is an actual decision optimization model, and it's developed and deployed in CloudPack for data. So 
Now, now that we've seen this from the planner point of view, let me take you back into Cloud Pack for Data and show you what this looks like from the development and deployment point of view. So here you've seen we have a, a implemented an auto AI model. And uh, once we found the best one, we deployed it and made it available as an endpoint to our planning application. Uh, we also have a decision optimization model that was developed in a Jupyter notebook, and it defines all of the usual uh, decision optimization components, such as decisions we're trying to make, the different constraints, uh, as well as KPIs and the objectives that we're trying to optimize for. So there's also a, another way to work with decision scenarios in the development environment where you can create different scenarios, you can solve them, and you can examine them uh, side by side using these uh, visualization dashboards. Or you can dig into any one of these scenarios and uh, take a look at the inputs and outputs of, the, of, of this scenario. So now that you have seen uh, both the development and deployment and also the planner point of view, hopefully you have a better idea how AI can help you plan a maintenance in a more optimal way. Awesome, thank you so much, Jana. So let me see if I can summarize this properly. So we saw uh, intelligent maintenance use case and you show first like the final application that basically the planner will use. And that application is powered by a machine learning model that is making predictions on failures. Exactly. And then also a decision exactly. optimization model, right? This is the screen. So the planner will work here and then they can run different ex scenarios and use different constraints to create a new strategy. This is super cool and very straightforward. And then from a development perspective, Cloud Pack for Data comes with a lot of different tools. So I believe you use Auto AI, which is our AutoML tool to predict failures. And the system is automatically recommending you different pipelines. And this is super cool, but then you can solve your uh, decision. You can create your decision optimization models in this case uh, in two different ways, the way I understand with Python from a Jupyter notebook. And then you show this other interface, which makes it uh, more visual for, That's for exactly the development right. side so of the decision create optimization different scenarios models, right? here. They can be all based on the same uh, decision optimization model, but linked to different data and parameters. Very cool. So we saw the other day how you can leverage our industry accelerators. This is just one example of one of them. All of those industry accelerators are available for all of you in our community gallery. So you can come work with us or just download them and start uh, using them yourself. We, they all come with README instructions and all the assets ready to go. Thank you so much, Jana. Uh, hopefully Sounds you good. like Thanks this video so and see you in the next episode.